Welcome back to the channel. This is Easy Gamer. How are you all doing? Today we managed to unlock the PT16 stroke T14 mod. So yeah, let's have a look at this tank. I did the entire video and realized my sound recording software for the sound was off. So yeah, made an idiot of myself there. But yeah, now we are back. We set up. We're ready to go. So this has got 120 millimeter Rhine metal 120 L44 cannon, a 7.26 millimeter MG machine gun, turret rotation speed is 38.7 seconds, uh, minus 9 plus 20, reloading 4 seconds, armor we won't go into crew of 4, mass 50.5 tons, engine power 2032 HP at 20 uh, 2600 RPMs, max speed 80 kilometers, visibility 80. Armor, it's pretty good. It's not too bad. It doesn't have much armor, but it is really not that bad actually. Uh, you get one shot it. Really not the best of armor, but it's not too bad. So yeah, it's not too bad. Crew, you've got four crew members ammo all over the place you got a, you got your blow off panels over here to protect your crew members and everything so yeah really not too bad you got your yeah, ammo you got their ammo so not too bad i don't take it with a full load of ammo i'm not going to go into detail about the tank fuel tanks all over the place so yeah it, my gameplay a little bit of game playing with it is not too bad um i've got it stock standard I'm using the DM12. I am busy researching the DM13. As you can see, I've got a little bit of research done. But it's not a tank that you're going to last in. I'm going to be dead honest. <laughs> I managed to take on a T72 and I was busy playing with it. And I got a kill assist with it. Then I got killed by another Russian tank. And then in an, the other game, uh, I went forward and I didn't see the guy on my flank. And he potted me and died. I, you get one shot it easily. So let's take this big bad boy into a fight and let's see what we can do this does i must remind you have a an auto lo an auto loader so it is pretty quick the reverse is fast it's nice really got a good reverse on it good forward speed good rota turret rotation it's got everything good just to find the play style that would suit it i was trying up front in fights and it didn't work out for me so I'm just going to try now again and hopefully have a good game where I can show the tank off. I don't have anything I'm running it with. Um, because I don't play this tier, really, and I don't haven't researched much into the German tech tree. It'll be nice to take it out of this Tiger H1. Or the Tiger E. See how they perform. Maybe that's a good, good old challenge for me. Um, but I don't have anything at this tier. Really, I don't. So yeah, it's just going to be this one tank I'm going to take out and I'm going to fight with it and see how it goes and then we'll discuss it. So that was pretty quick. So yeah, this is a pretty good map if it's not in night. I don't know why Gaijin in all their stupid snail wisdom gives a tank with no night vision yet researched puts it in a, in a night battle. It is pointless. I don't know what they thinking what they yeah well sometimes gaijin's brain sits on their chairs under something so i'm taking it with 20 rounds even though i feel that's a bit much but let's take it in and let's go have a bit of a bit of a bash with it computer's a bit laggy so, so many things open let's just upgrade this rack as you can see the turret rotation is pretty good stop being so laggy. Tank turns very well. I presume if you have the, the everyone brags about the DM13. So I presume if you have that shell unlocked you should be able to do quite a bit. This has got quite a good penetration, 420 there about. There's a DM12 that I'm going with and I don't mind this DM12 because my days or when I play with the South African Vehicles. They will use the DM12. I kind of enjoy it as well at that VR. Enemy forces have captured a 
got no players pushing down this side. I've got one guy coming up. So I don't know. I don't want to hide too early. Motion the zones are under control. Pushing up. See the reverse is awesome. It's nice. Shoot and scoot. Really nice for that. And like I said, it can turn quite nicely. We're ahead of the enemy. But no real support here. But this DM12, not actually a fair fight. It was a light skin target that I was taking on. Yeah, computer is lagging now. Give our position away. Right? Yeah, anybody coming up this way for us? Let's call him up now. Let's get him to hide him. Yeah, so we're not in hiding. Modern tanks, but you got a tiger tank ready. Let's go! Our sector is under artillery barrage! The fuel tank's been hauled! Attack the sea point! Okay, we did anyway. Okay, guys. I'm not even gonna play further. I just want to show off this tank. Um, I guess if my computer wasn't so bad. Yeah. Maybe a bit of a better battle. I'm just gonna call it there. And I'm not being a good team player now. My thoughts on this tank? I'm loving it. It's given me hope for up tiers again. Um, yeah, I'm really, that's it, nice. Um, in the right play styles, I think it could be a bit of a menace. Um, yeah, so this is not a any type of special video, but yeah, I've got re uh, tank rescue, teamwork, and adamant. Not too bad, I've got 2,000 silver lines. I don't really worry about that. 
I'm not going to be able to show off anything because the tank will be in recruit. Oh no, it won't be. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying this. I am busy now working on. On. I am busy now to get the Swedish one. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll have it. Then I can do a bit of a play with this one. Assemble. I think I've got everything. Uh, trying to push hard. Hopefully I can get enough resources and quickly get this vehicle. Hopefully by tomorrow. But yeah, I'm loving this tank. This is a step forward for Gaijin, but like I've always said, they screw up always along the line. One step forward, 20 steps back. This is fun. This is unique. And I think these damn the machine guns are pretty good. I don't know if they'll be changing that sooner or later. But yeah, 10 out of 10 for this. This is nice. I really, really enjoy it. It's not a survivable tank. But as you saw, you, I let the, the heavier tank, the better, more armored tank go out. I came in behind him, killed it. I got the kill. He got the assist. Sometimes it'll be the other way around. I think that's how you should play this tank. Um, so I'm not an up tier player, high tier player. But yeah, this is very nice. So I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for disliking. Thank you for commenting. And if you really enjoyed this and want to see more, we'll keep you up to date on vehicles in War Thunder. Not in BR changes or anything because that just pisses me off. That's just a lazy way of saying, listen guys. We want you to play with this nation. Listen, guys, we want this nation to be more nation power than that one. So I don't cover that shit because, it, like I said, it just pisses me off. I only cover the vehicles that they're adding and I deliver comment on them and how I think it will be played. This is nice. I like it. I agree with it. Thank you so much for watching. Keep well, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.